Yep, I'm starting to build my hot wire cutter for foam. Um, since, I'm, since I'm going to need to cut my foam down because I used two inch stock foam, I did find a hardware store that carries one inch and one half inch now. So I may just recut these, but I figured I'd need some foam cutters eventually. So I'm building myself a hot wire foam cutter. Uh, I've probably gone overboard on my scale on this here. Uh, I have my guitar string. This is the, uh, I don't know, the smallest one. I don't know what letter that is or what size it is, but the smallest one I had. I'm going to put a bolt through here and bolt this to the bottom of this board here over here. And I put a bolt through here and bolt this to the bottom of the board over here. And then I'm going to bolt this right about there, just a base. And then I'm going to take this PVC pipe. It's a little bigger than I thought it'd be. I might have to cut down a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to attach all this PVC pipe on there like that. It's just a big L crane shaped looking thing. And then I'm going to put another hook right up here where my finger is. And another hook right back here where my finger is. And then between the two back hooks, lay this back down. Between the two back hooks, I'm going to use a spring. A spring and a strap to tension the back. And the front will have the guitar string on it holding the two front hooks together. The electricity is going to run through the pipes on the underside of this uh, deck board that I have here. Uh, little quarter inch uh, plywood board with uh, three quarter inch square. Oops, I don't want to bend my wire here. You don't have any kinks in this wire. Guitar string, I mean that wire. I'm gonna take my old hockey game from years ago and turn that into that was a quarter hockey game we used to play with a uh, chopstick. You put a quarter in there or a marble and you play a little hockey game. So. Little kids game board we made a while back when I was a kid and scouts had some kids and little and scouts. So what I'll do is I'll wire the transformer in here and run the wires down to the hole of the bottom of the PVC and up the tube and back into the back of it. Ooh, sorry, that was loud. Run the wire up to the bottom of this tube here, up through there and then down to the front of the tube to the bolt sticking out there. We'll hot wire it inside the tube. And the other one will hot wire underneath when it comes out of the base there. We'll hot wire that one underneath to the transformer. And then we'll have a switch. I hope they don't put the switch up front because that would get in the way. I think I'm going to set the switch back here in the back. don't want it to be in the way of the board for sliding things across and that'll be our hot wire cutter I have one transform but I don't know if it's powerful enough I'm going to destroy that guitar wire before I ever get to use it okay I have one transformer here oh, I'm going to macro in on this for you guys, hold on alright, well, I'll get a shot of that with a macro it is a uh, old router transformer and it is 23 watts 12 volts DC 100 no I'm sorry 1000 milliamps so it's a little on the low side on the amperage I would have liked to have 2 amps and I would have liked to have 24 volts so that's the biggest one I've found in my house so far if it doesn't put out enough power to get the uh, get the thing hot enough the wire then I'll up the transformer better to start low and up if you start high, you just burn up a wire really quick. So that was the biggest one I had in the house, unless I went to a 
um, unless I switched over to a computer pack like one of those back there. I have a couple of those laying around, but those were not 19 watts and 12 volts, and I'm not sure how many amps they are, but I'm sure they're pretty intense. So we'll stay away from that for now. That'll probably cook the wire right away. Um, the bottom wire isn't a problem hooking up because you can just run it, run the cord right back through this bead, and that can be your loop around the bottom. The top one, however, I have to come up with a way to attach my top wire to the top uh, loop so that it isn't just kind of untwisting itself. I need to find some kind of twist it up, knot it up, something. I'm not sure. I'll look into that. Maybe I'll just run it up into the bolt, in which case I don't really need the whole loop at all, do I? I don't know. We'll figure it out. And the uh, switch I'm going to put in the back is going to be a variable speed, like a fan, variable speed fan switch, uh, where you can push it in to turn it on and off, and then just turn it left and right to turn it up and down. Went to the hardware store tonight to try and find one of those, where I got a couple of these pieces, but they had only two part switches, and I was not sure why you'd have two variable speed switches in the one switch. So I didn't buy that. I'm going to look at another hardware store. I didn't spend a lot of time there had other things going on, so that's kind of what I was working on tonight, just uh, putting together my hot wire foam cutter, so that'll be the next part of my project for the uh, self-made, completely alcohol stove, and uh, I don't know where it's at, I'll get you the close-up shot on that transformer so you can see what I have, although I think I told you everything I said on it, and I will get you a picture of the aluminum that I will be melting down to make the stove with.